okay today we are going to discuss about the uh, linked list so the discussion has been started already so why uh, we usually go for linked list okay and if you get this question and your answer should be what these three points okay so to overcome the drawbacks that we have in the array list okay we usually go for what we go for linked list then the question could be what what are the disadvantages of using an array list okay so there are several advantages of using an uh, array list data structure but no matter what there will be some disadvantages right to address those disadvantages one has to go for linked list okay these are the three disadvantages first one is array list ex expects the contiguous memory allocation so uh, if you do not want to get a contiguous memory allocation allocated in the ram okay you can go for linked list okay linked list does not expect the contiguous memory allocation right so when you are inserting an element in array list a specific index okay uh, it requires a lot of shifting right and the same thing goes for deletion also okay if you want to delete a particular element on a particular index okay it requires a lot of shifting okay i don't think much discussion is required on these three topics i mean on these three points and we have also uh, discussed about the linker list okay let me show back let me go back to the diagrammatical representation so this is the list interface and uh, you know we have completed what is array list and to overcome the drawbacks of array list let me repeat to overcome the disadvantages that we have in the array list we started discussing about what we started discussing about the linker list okay the discussion is still going on so yesterday i have introduced about what the singly singly linked list yes or no we have discussed about singly linked list okay and there are some other disadvantages hidden in the singly linked list let us see those disadvantages today and we will address what exactly we can do with the uh, linked list double linked list okay someone has joined just now right okay so let me go back to the program so uh, let me remove all this right okay uh, let me keep this uh, as it is okay so you are creating an object for the linker list this is a generic type okay when i say the generic type what does it mean you are being very specific that what kind of object that is going to be added in the specific reference variable this time the object is going to be of what type the integer type so you are being very specific so this reference type is going to allow the integer data type okay so the moment you give this inst instruction okay let me copy this instructions and let me paste it here okay the uh, when you so in the singly linked list okay please remember this point before even proceeding with that the link the linked list internally using doubly linked list data structure focus on this point for the better understanding okay let me highlight this point what it says the linked list internally uses doubly linked list data structure so yesterday we had discussed about the singly linked list yes or no we had discussed about what singly linked list if you remember so this was the exact discussion that we had in the yesterday session singly linked list okay, we have seen some advantage some, some of the advantages of singly linked list over what over the uh, array list right so if i have to store the data by using the single link list i want to copy this program i want to paste it here okay let me use the same program same code five lines of code okay now see what are the things that are happening behind the scenes for this five lines of code when you use singly list singly link list okay it has been copied successfully pasted so let me consider a small piece of ram for our imagination right so where is our ram okay we have we have our app, okay this is our ram okay let me copy this piece of code and uh, let me use it here right so we know that in the array list the moment you create an object by default it is going to allocate memory in the continuous manner for 10 spaces yes or no array list in the array list by default the capacity is 10 so the moment you create an object for the array list it is going to occupy 10 spaces continuously in the continuous manner but now you are talking about the linked list so when i say linked list okay the memory allocation is completely 
you know uh, it will work it work like a way that is completely opposite to the array list okay so memory gets allocated randomly okay so first value is what we want to add the value 10 to the reference variable obj okay so this 10 could be added anywhere okay let us assume that the 10 is going to get added here okay in the singly linked list as soon as the element is added as soon as the first element is added it is also going to consider the next space it is also going to take the next space which is used to store the reference of the next value address of the next value we have discussed these things already okay this is the first value what is our second value 20 right so let us say that 20 is getting added here right and a node will be created we call it as what node okay along with the value 20 it is also going to occupy what occupy the next space right and what is the third one third one is 30 and it okay let us say that 30 is getting added here right 30 is getting added here along with this 30 uh, you know a node will be created what is your node node is a combination of the value as well as the uh, address of the next variable next value okay what is the fourth value 40 okay, randomly this 40 will get allocated anywhere in the ram okay let us say that it is consuming this space okay, along with this space it is also going to consume the next space which is reserved for the address of the next variable okay so this is how the singly linked list work okay, if i extract this one by one if i add to extract this one by one a linking will be happen this is the first value and uh, you know this part is called as what node we can call it as what node because node is the combination of value and the address of the next variable right what is the second value this is 20 was added after the first value okay so this is another node okay and what is the third one 30 was added after the second value this is another node what is the fourth one this is what another node let me copy this and take it okay okay a link will be created okay a kind of link will be created link 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 okay this is going to store the address of the next variable which is 20 and this is going to store the address of the next variable this is going to store the address of the next variable right and always when there are the last value is going to store null to represent that to ensure that uh, to give us impression that this is the last value okay the first value will be pointed by a pointer called as yet so don't uh, feel like we are discussing these things for the first time we have already discussed these, these things in the exodus class okay this concept is called as what the singly linked list yes or no i can come to the conclusion that this concept is called what singly linked list but there is a big drawback here what is a big drawback here if you want to add an element if you want to add an element in the first index okay it is very easy but for example let us say that you want to add something like the uh, uh, value 100 okay so you want to add this 100 okay in the beginning of the linked list in the beginning of the linked list okay this a node will be created you can do what you can directly go here okay you can replace this it towards this node and the recently added node will become the first node now and this first node will point to the next node the idea here is the things that you need to observe here is what there is no shifting shifting is not happening here it is get directly getting added when you do the same thing with the array list okay this is the array list right so you have what you have one two uh, three four five six seven eight nine and ten spaces you have in the array list yes or no okay when you want to add an element in the array list it's going to consider a lot of shifting a lot of shifting is going to happen behind the scenes yes or no if these are the values 10 20 30 40 and you want to add 100 on the 0th index or the first you know on the first index or the 0th index or the first place okay the existing value needs to get shifted as or no it has to give space each and every value has to get shifted 40 has to get shifted here 30 has to get shifted here 20 has to get shifted here 
right? 10 has to get shifted here. Then you can add this 100, okay? So in the array list, lot of shifting is happening. So we are uh, looking, we are considering this as a disadvantage. So we are going, we are trying to use the advantages of singly linked list. But even the singly linked list, we are able to overcome this overcome this disadvantage. We are able to overcome this disadvantage. Because there is no shifting is happening. You are just changing the pointers. That's it. Because of this, no shifting is happening. Everything is remaining in the same memory view. Then is there exactly there even before adding this element. 20 is exactly in the same place. That is exactly in the same place. What is also exactly in the same place. But you are just changing the pointers. You are changing the linkage. That's it. Right? No shifting is happening. Okay, but when you try to add the element in the first in the, in the first place, there is no shifting. Okay, the problem here is the pro the problem with the singly linked list is what? If you want to if you want to add an element in the last index, you want to add some element in the last index. Okay, so there there should be the operation will be like okay, it has to find which is the last index. A cursor will be created, cursor will find either this is the last index, no this is not. Is this the last index, no this is not. Is this the last one, no this is not. Is this the last one, no this is not. Is this the last one, no this is not the last one. Ah, yes, this is the last one. Because uh, null value represents the last index, yes or no. Okay, so it has to traverse from the zeroth index to the last index, then it can come to a conclusion that yes, this is the last index, so that it can add the value here. So a lot of, uh, it has to check each and every memory allocation to come to a conclusion that which one is the last last index or the last node I can say. So adding the node in the first index is not a big deal for us. Okay, this pointer, you can change this pointer to the new node and you can reconnect the pointer from the new node to the existing nodes. But if you want to do the same thing, if you want to add something like, you know, let us say that I want to add a value like uh, 2000 2000 in the last the last node in the last node okay first you know the this cursor has to find which is the last node it is going to traverse from the first element till it finds the last element how it is going to find the last element based upon the null value the moment it identifies the address as null it will come to the conclusion that okay this is the last value the end user wants to add what this 200 on the last index okay what it is going to do okay so this null will be deleted here okay and this is going to become null when this is becoming null then it becomes the last value these are the internal things you don't need to worry about the internal things uh, what i'm trying to teach here is what are the disadvantages with the singly linked list because theoretically we will discuss these things theoretically a lot of things we are going to discuss so when you discuss these things theoretically there it will make more sense so this is the disadvantages of singly linked list let me write down here the question here could be why linked why linked list using doubly linked list data structure internally internally so to overcome the following disadvantages disadvantages the linker list has adopted the concept of Concept of what? Doubly linked list data structure. Doubly linked list data structure. Okay, what are the disadvantages? Okay, if you okay. if a value or an element needs to be added at the last index okay the current pointer has to iterate iterate from the first index or the node or from the first node 
to the last node then the respective value need, will be added to be added okay so what what does it really mean is if if suppose if you have a requirement to add the value to add the node at the last index it is not as easy as we think okay the cursor will always be at the first node it has to find the last node so in order to find the last node it will try to check each and every node whether that node is the last node or not first it will check this hey is this the last node no it is not it will check this is this the last node no it is not it will check this is the last node no it is not it will check this this is the lot last node no it is not it will check this the last node yes it is how it is coming to the conclusion that this is the last node because there is a null whenever it is finding the null that means that the node representing the last node after finding this then the new node will be added this null will be deleted and this null will be the last node now the latest not last node will be what this one will be the latest last node okay likewise if you want to add another element if you want another element like something like let me say that you know if you want to add zero in the last index okay again this cursor has to start from the beginning to find which one is the last node it has to go through n number of iterations then it is going to find the last node right after finding this last node this null will be given to here okay a, a linked a link connection will be created okay. now this becomes the last node. so ideally if you want to add an element it has to go through the n iterations from starting from the index uh, starting from the first node to the last node the same time if you want to delete an element last element it has to follow the same process it has to start from the beginning it has to find which one is the last one then the last node can be deleted okay so this is considered as an advantage in the singly linked list okay so that is what i have written here good evening just one who has joined okay okay so if a value or element needs to be added to the last index the current pointer has to iterate from the first node to the last node then the respective value would be added it is increasing the time complexity it's not a straightforward thing you can add an element in the first index that is very easy but adding an element in the last index is going to be very very difficult because uh, the cursor has to go through the n iterations to find which one is the last value or the last node or the last index right so same thing applies for what if a value or element needs to be deleted at the last index second disadvantage the current pointer has to iterate from the first and last then the respective value would be deleted okay it is increasing it is also increasing the time complexity okay and the third point okay this is interesting point reversing the traversal is not possible what does it mean the cursor is designed in such a way that it can traverse from the first node to the last node okay, always the cursor starts from the first node it can traverse in this direction in the right direction right in the sense i can say that in one direction in the unidirection there's only one direction after setting after doing all these things again it will come back to this original position right and again if you want to do some manipulation again if you want to add something in the last node it has to start from the first node okay, the direction is straight okay so this is the direction path this direction okay okay this direction it cannot you cannot reverse the direction you cannot reverse it because it is singly linked list okay, if you want to reverse the direction you need to go for what doubly linked list concept will come into this i will tell you what is doubly linked list so a linked list is internally using the doubly linked list data structure now the question could be triggering in your mind what is a doubly linked list so we are trying to understand only this line guys okay. only this line so i am uh, trying to uh, do a deep dive just to understand this line internally uses doubly linked list data structure to understand this doubly first we need to understand what is singly i hope you got some idea about what is singly 
okay you will also get some idea about what is w linked list so let me uh, take our ram let me let me purchase the ram okay this is our ram so if i if i ever add to let me clear all this space for the better view right so this view looks good okay now same program i am taking this time we are not assuming we are trying to understand how these values will be added when the doubly linked list data structure is used focus here this is very very important okay this is my this is our code right so and first value is what 10 is getting added 20 is getting added 30 and 40 so this will be added randomly we know these things already okay let me take you know uh, let us understand that uh, you know the java program is designed in such a way that it will take care of which memory space needs to be chosen you do not do, no, don't need to worry about this okay 20 randomly it will be uh, the values will be added or the data will be added 30 and the 40 now focus focus when it is a singly linked list when you use singly linked list to store the data okay it is going to occupy the next space yes or no along with the 10 the next empty space will be occupied to store the address of the next value right okay so when you say doubly doubly linked list focus here so it is the value 10 as soon as it is stored in a, in a random memory space okay this 10 will consume the right hand side space as well as the left hand side space okay next value is for 20 it will consume the right hand side space plus left hand side space next is what 30 it is con it will consume the right hand side space and left hand side space next is what 40 it will consume the right hand side space and this one so here the question is why it is consuming these two spaces okay so let me take this as okay let me take this as an example we typically call this as what we typically call it as a node we typically call it as what we typically call it as a node okay this time our new node has been by divided into three parts how many parts it has been divided into it has been divided into how many parts three parts right so this part is going to store the address of the next variable and this part is going to store the address of the previous variable right let me copy each and everything so this is 20 okay okay so uh, next next means a pointer will be created okay and again the value 20 it has uh, two sides one is the right side is going to store the address of the next variable next one is the left side it is going to store the address of the previous variable so for the previous a pointer will be created these are the internal things so how many pointers are there two pointers so i can say it as what a linkage has been happened okay a link has been established not one link there are two links that's why it is called as what doubly linked list right so let me conclude this after considering all these values that we have just added right this is third one let me move this here okay let me beautify this okay this is third one and uh, the value the right side is going to be what next right the left side part is going to be what the previous right so the last value we have So this is next okay this is previous okay so for the next one pointer will be created and uh, for the next one pointer will be created and for the previous one pointer will be created pointing to the previous uh, node and for the previous one pointer will be created pointing to the previous node this time okay the last the last node the last node is going to point to what when you say something as a last okay so the address the next address for the last node is always what null 
remember this in mind when you find null it means you do not have to do anything about this null and all these are the internal things okay these are the internal things that is happening so java program will take care of this the data structure okay and the last point will have a previous pointer okay this is called as what tail you call this as you typically call this as what tail don't worry about this tail don't worry about this yet you are under trying to understand what is doubly linked list okay and the first point okay instead of previous when i say first there will be no previous address because it is a first value right first node will not have any previous address instead of previous this is going to be what it it is representing that this particular node is the first node when i say it it says that this particular node is the first node that has been added in the list when i say tail this particular node is the last node right and when you see the communication when you see the linkages okay a communication a link has been established between two nodes so this is the node number one first node this is the second node third node and fourth node when you see when you take each and every node you can see uh, you know you just exclude the first node and uh, exclude the last node okay uh, uh, by excluding the first node and by excluding the last node if you see other nodes it has two way communication okay it has the address of the next variable also it has address of the previous variable specifically when you talk about the variable 20 okay you can touch the value 20 at the same time this node has the address of the next variable also this node has the address of the previous variable if i ever find the value 20 by 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 getting the value 20 i can use something i can create a logic in such a way internally that okay if i fetch previous okay what is the previous value on in the in the uh, context of the value 20 we have 10 right so next what is the previous value with respect to 20, next value with respect to 20 30 so if i able to access one value by using that one value i am able to access its previous value as well as the next value are you getting this if i have if i access the, the 10 okay i have the address of the next value which means i am able to access 20 also indirectly i am also able to access 20 if i have the access 20 okay, i am able to access 30 because it is storing the next value address I am able to access 30 okay i am able to access 40 also you need to get the address of one variable or address of one node so you can fetch the values of the remaining uh, values that is placed in the remaining nodes okay now the direction is it is a bi-directional okay there will be a cursor here in the beginning and there will be a cursor in the end okay so one cursor can traverse from beginning to end this direction okay the second cursor can traverse from end to beginning two cursors this direction and this can travel from year to year so this is called as what bi-directional data structure doubly linked list is what the bi-directional so what is the advantage here Previously, what was the disadvantages that we have seen in the singly linked list? If you have to add an element in the last index, it has to start iterating from the first index. But in this case, we are able to overcome that disadvantage. How we are able to open the, overcome the disadvantage? For example, if I want to add something like three hundred or three thousand, if I want to add something like this in the last index right so i can able to find the last index with this cursor okay this is a last cursor right i will change the position of tail to this right and i will change the position of this to here right and uh, this this is a node it will be it will be having this bifurcation this will be this will be linked here that's it there is no space to link okay this will be linked here okay now this has become the last value so there is no shifting okay there is no traversing 
okay so the last node can be taken if you want to add an element in the last node this cursor will take care if you want to add an element in the first node this this will take care so internally no shifting is happening every memory allocation is in the same place where it was when it was created okay this space will be fixed always it will not change forever so now 300 is added okay 300 will typically get added somewhere and the linkage will be transferred that's it a new link will be created existing link will be disconnected these things will be taken care by the program internally so the takeaway is very simple here double linked list means the cursor is able to traverse from the first index or from the last index which is bidirectional in nature if i have to put it in theory if i ever have to put it in theory this is how i can put it what is a doubly linked list data structure so a doubly linked list is a bidirectional linked list bidirectional linked list it means you can traverse traverse it from head to toe tail head to toe tail node or tail to head node this is used to overcome the this advanced pages of singly linked list which is designed to have a pointer that can that is unidirectional in nature unidirectional means only one direction right so look at this now if whenever you are getting an interview question what does it mean okay you will be specifically asked the linked list internally using doubly linked data structure what do you mean by doubly linked data structure so this is the answer you need to give okay and the follow up question could be what uh, this is used to overcome the disadvantages of singly linked list again the follow up question is what is the, what are the disadvantages of a single a singly linked list okay you need to answer this uh, three points that's it these are the internal things ideally if you if you take the program to take a small piece of program if you want to work about the methods okay you can do a lot of things okay you, need, you don't need to think about these things let me uh, do something like if i want to do what i want to do obj1 dot okay now you see i'm using a get first method okay i'm using the get first method so let me run this code i am ideally i am able to get the value that is stored in the first node 10 okay so what it is what internally how this is working internally so whenever i use this particular get first method to fetch an element that is placed inside the first node okay this get first is going to communicate with the first pointer this is already there is a pointer first pointer first pointer is always what it eight, eight pointer is the first pointer directly it can fetch the value and, and get 10 get first the pointer that is pointing to the first node will be returned to you that's why the value is what 10. right guest first method methods in linked list methods in linked list so what is the first method int get first why the return type is int because it is returning what it is returning the integer data type isn't it
Okay, I can ideally say that it is this method is going to return the value or value that is on the first node. First node. Right? So there are few more methods after discussing these methods, the linked list concept will be over. We will do the comparison. So there is another method called get last method. Okay, if you guess to get first method is giving you the first value, ideally the get last method has to give you the last value. 40. Okay. So what are the things that is happening behind the scenes? Very simple. The moment you use the get last method. So it is going to catch hold of the last pointer. Okay, this was the last pointer according to our program. This was the last pointer. These are the changes that I have done after that, right? This was the last uh, pointer. So this is a tail pointer. The value that is inside the tail point, uh, the value that is pointed by the tail pointer is going to be written 40. It is very easy to get the first element and the last element without uh, by, uh, uh, you know, it saves a lot of time internally. No traversal is required. Right, so I can write it like what? Get last. Okay, this is the first method. Get first method, and this is what get last method, and it is running what integer. Type. Okay, so this method is going to return the value that is on the which node that is on the last node right so what are the some of the significant methods that we will see Okay, same methods that, that we have seen in the array list, I know you can utilize the same methods. You want to add something like obj1.add, if you want to add something like uh, what we call it as 1000. Okay, so system.out.println uh, before adding. Okay, before adding, I want to print the respective reference variable after adding i want to print the respective reference variable okay without this course so if you see the output the output is going to be in the orderly fashion 10 20 30 40 after adding this course if you want to add something like 1000 okay? so it is going to get added in the last 1000 will be added in the last so this add this add method is going to return what it is going to return true so this is a common method that is for that is uh, available in the array list also. If you see, you go back to see, go back and see the add method in the array list. We have an add method in the array list. Same job, the linked list is also doing. Yeah, so I can copy this, I can paste it here. So all these methods are common. So uh, this add method is applicable for array list, and also uh, this add method is ap applicable for linked list as well. So internally, how the methods are added, that is the question. Okay, this is the third one, Boolean app. So we do not want to see the common methods. I want to show you the distance method. Okay, uh, contains, contains is used to check whether a, a particular value is there or not. Okay, and you can also find the index of, okay, same methods. You want to, if you want to check if the method is empty, that, that also you can see it here. Okay, offer method, we will see this obj dot offer uh, let me let me use 10 okay 10 it returns true let me use 20 20 returns true let me ret I use 100 100 also it returns true so, So offer method if you observe offer method and again it is like the value is getting added in the last last node 12. 
right return type is boolean type so this is a specific method that you need to focus on what is the fourth method boolean offer right so when you pass a value of object type you can pass any value by using the offer better it is going to return the boolean if it is added successfully it is going to return return true or false okay so you can copy this okay. this mother is used to add the element and the uh, add the element at the last node and will return if the element is added successfully right so what is this offer method don't worry about this add method this is common method so i am uh, removing this let us focus only on specific methods offer method offer method is applicable only for the linked list right so what is the other methods we have let us try to understand offer Okay, we have offer first, we have offer last. Okay, when you use offer first, and if I want to add something like zero by using the offer first method, right? Uh, zero is getting added in the first place. If I use last, offer last, right? And zero is getting added in the last place. So you have other prominent methods like offer method, and you have what? offer first right this offer first this method is used to add the element in the first node the first node middle to be successfully added a and we have the fifth method what is the method offer last Offer last. So this is this method is used to add the element at the last node. It will return true if the element is successfully added. Right? So five methods we have discussed. Let me see what are the other available methods. Okay, we have peak method, we have pole method. We will understand what is a peak method. Peak method. Okay. Peak, peak method is returning uh, the first value. Pole method is going to return the last value, I think. Okay, no, 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 it's not like that. So, peak method. Yes. Okay, peak mother returns the first value. don't worry these things are uh, you know the self explanatory these are the available methods that uh, i am trying to explain so we don't use this method very very often but it is good idea that we are trying to understand what is happening with this method so we have a peak method this method will return the value of the value that is on the First node, the link list. Right, so peak method is clear and pop uh, method. Let's see what pop method is going to do. 
okay pop method is going to remove the first element if i use pop for the second time okay so second element will be removed right if i use pop for the third time okay third element will be removed okay nothing is uh, very serious here so if i go back and if i do this okay these are the values that we have in the doubly linked list is yes. 10 20 30 right and 40 so here i uh, here i have what 10 20 30 40 so doubly linked list right two pointers pointer 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 right this is eight and this is what tail okay so till here this has happened behind the scenes right and i want to print obj1 when i try to print obj1 10 20 30 what all the elements will be printed in the orderly fashion what i'm doing next i'm doing obj dot pop pop means okay, this will be popped out right again what i'm doing obj obj dot pop first element first node will be removed again what i am doing obj dot pop this element will be removed that's it what is the remaining element 40 that will be printed okay each each time when you call the pop method right it is going to remove what what is the pending element 40 this is the same element that we had as 40 you understand what is the meaning of pop pop means it will uh, remove the first value right and it will also return the value that is removed right so we have a method called what pop method this method is going to remove remove the first node And the value inside that first node will be done right so what are the other methods we have pop is able to be understood and uh, what are the other methods that we have so pop, pop, pop is important you have to understand something like okay push okay so let us see the internal working of push method right so push is written type is void i think so we want to push 1000 okay the uh, 1000 is getting added in the beginning of the element right we want to push something like 1000 as well as uh, if you want to push something like uh, 11 i mean 111 Okay, first 1000 will be added in the first element and what one will be added this was added first and then later this is added right push is something like you're pushing the element towards the first node so as soon as you push it so this will be considered as what the first node making sense you're pushing the element that's it right so late method last method pop and we have what in teacher push not integer void okay it will expect what object value obj you can pass some value that will be placed in the first node this method is used to push a value create a node value will be placed Oops. the first location
little interest. Okay, so these are the important methods, I guess. So we have what? We have get first method, we have get last method. So and we have offer method, we have offer first method, we have offer last, we have peak method, we have pop method, and we have push method. These are the eight prominent methods that we have in the linked list. Right? So the question that the question, the important question, so the discussion that taps that has happened so far is revolving around a particular question what is that particular question i will tell you okay in the interview room this is the most frequently asked question what is the difference between array list and the linked list array list versus linked list one of the popular interview questions for freshers as well as for the experienced candidates okay how you can represent how you can answer this question? How you can answer this question? Okay, whenever you are getting this question, so you can first you need to specify the advantages and you need to specify the disadvantages. What is the advantages of array list and what is the disadvantages of linked list? Okay, you need to take care of advantages and you need to take care of disadvantages. So if you take care of that, definitely the answer would be very simple to be answered. So when I say array list. So what are the usages of an array list? What are the internal things? Point number one. Array list internally uses a dynamic array. Dynamic array to store the elements. So what is a dynamic array? You know what is a dynamic array? So the size of the array is increasable and decrease shrinkable in nature when you when you default array size is going to be what 10 the more elements you add the size of the, the array is going to be increased the more elements you delete the size of the array is going to be decreased so it is dynamically growable and dynamically shrinkable depending upon the value that you add and value that you delete okay, getting this so that's why it says array is simply a dynamic array to store elements okay, now you, the point is so if array list is using dynamic array internally, what, what is linked list is using? So linked list is using a doubly linked list to store the elements. So we have discussed what is doubly linked list just now. Right? And you can answer what is a doubly linked list. I have already given you the theory and I have already covered the practical part also. And we have also discussed about the central implementation. There will be a node, node will be created randomly, and a linkage will be created. A node is going to have the address of the previous uh, node as well as the address of the next node. That's why it is called as for doubly linked list. You can answer this. Okay. So when you go for array list, second question. Second key difference. Manipulation is completely slower in array list. What is a manipulation? Manipulation with array list is slow because it internally uses an array and if you add any element or if you remove any element it has to go through a lot of shiftings in the memory yes or no so when you are adding an element and i have said this already right so if this is an array if this is a dynamic array right let us say that if it is a dynamic array and already you have added some elements in this dynamic array so for example 10 the first is 10 second is 20 and third is 30 okay and still the size of the array is going to be there right if you want to add an 100 in the first in zeroth index it requires a lot of shifting right that is a big disadvantage this needs to be moved to the next location this needs to be moved here and this needs to be moved here and 
this 100 could be added here. So if you add one value, it requires a lot of shifting. Every element in the particular index is getting affected. Okay, it needs to relocate its position. It needs to relocate its address. So it is going to be slow. So that's what the point is clearly saying that manipulation. Manipulation means insertion or deletion, deleting a data. Inserting a data or deleting a data is going to be a little slower because internet is using an array. I think this point is justified, right? So linked list. Manipulation in the linked list is faster. Why faster? There is no shifting internally. Right? I can say that. If you get locked out of the meeting, please join. We will complete this point so that manipulation with the linked list is faster. in the array list because inter internally it uses what doubly linked list to store elements and no shifting is required so a link will be dismantled and a new link will be created and the memory position of the existing elements will be there forever. Okay, this is the second key point and the third key point is array list is better for storing, only it is better for storing and accessing the elements, accessing the data. Okay, linker list is better for manipulating data. Manipulating means insertion and deletions. Accessing means what? Retrieval. Better for manipulating the data. Okay, the so fourth point. The memory location is contiguous. So the memory location for the array list is contiguous. Okay, the memory location for the linked list is what? They are not contiguous. Linked list is not contiguous. Right. So the last point can be so each and every point that we have discussed in detail. The default capacity for array list is ten. Right. Size of the array list is ten by default. Right. And there is no default capacity in the linker list. There is no concept of default capacity in the linker list. Linker list. So, when you are facing this question in the interview room, I think Sashwant has faced this question recently for his interview, right? You have mentioned that you got a question from, uh, uh, you know, uh, from this uh, collections concept, array list and linked list. Is that right, Sashwant? What is the difference between array list and linked list? Sashwant, uh, yeah. So, this is the key difference, Sashwant. So, this could be an interview question for the pressures as well as for the experienced candidates. You need to I will highlight the points, okay, what are the points that needs to focus on is, 
so the internal data structure okay but this one dynamic array whenever you find the word array list dynamic array should come come into your mind for the linker list you should uh, get this word doubly linked list very important uh, comparison okay second comparison is array list is better for storing and accessing the data right so you can access the data just by the index number yes or no right so if you have an array if an array is created yeah, just by the help of the index number okay whenever an array is created a default size of 10 spaces will be created okay and uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 10 spaces will be created just by using the index number you can access it directly accessing is going to be very easy in the array list so when you have a requirement to access the element frequently go for array list right so when you want to do the data manipulation so manipulating the word manipulators is a combination of what combination of two things one is insertion and deletion okay. for frequently inserting an element right? and frequently if you have a requirement to delete the element frequently okay, go better go for linked list and one more thing even the array list can do insertion and deletion both can do both are uh, uh, you know designed to perform these operations but which one is better linked list is better for insertion and deletion because time complexity is less array list is better for accessing it doesn't mean that array list cannot do this insertion operation it is not like that guys doesn't mean that this array list is not capable to do the insertion and deletion even array list can do the th these things but it is not recommended to go for array list when you want to when you want to uh, do the frequent insert and delete operation go for linked list when you want to access go for the array list okay this is the fourth key point memory location okay, contiguous okay it is not contiguous why it is not contiguous we have seen these things now the memory uh, well, the node will be created randomly right and default capacity is 10 and here the default capacity is what there is no concept of default capacity. these are the keywords okay remember these words and if you get again the follow-up question like what is a dynamic link list you can uh, memorize this you can revise this once again okay so what i have cl explained you everything clearly so internally it is using what double link list data structure and what are the few points that i can add i can also copy all this it supplies for this also link list also the eighth point if you want to do the data manipulation frequently you better go for link list what is the data manipulation insertion and deletion operations right and this is going to be the ninth point okay this is going to be the tenth point this point applies to the link list also this is going to be the eleventh point this is going to be the twelfth point this is going to be the thirteenth point so instead of link array list i can use what link list link list is also non-synchronized in nature it is not a third save it can be used in multi-threaded and can't be used in multi environment and uh, it lacks data consistency so this link this uh, points is applicable for a uh, link list also common points so i'm just assuring that i have covered everything and what else we need to cover okay this is also i can add duplicates are allowed i mean uh, i can add this also okay this is common for both link list and array list 14 15, 16, and here you go 17. So this has to be changed to what? Link list, link list, link list, link list, link list. Even link list allows heterogeneous elements as well as no non heterogeneous element, homogeneous element, depending upon the data types. Link list allows duplicate values. Linker list also allows, uh, does not follow the sorting order. Linker list preserves the insertion order also. The same points has been discussed earlier. 
okay these are the key points of what the array list and the linked list and vector and stack is going to be very easy it is going to take a matter of one hour that's it both vector and stack so we will complete this tomorrow as soon as we complete this we will start discussing about what sets right after completing sets we will start discussing about queues okay then maps then the collection topics will be completed okay 99 of 99 percent of codes i will get completed by this right so any questions for me that you have